Okay, guys, I just got this from Amazon Prime. Amphibious radio control for ages 8 and up. True 4x4 for all terrain, all function. Oh, I wonder if I got the red one. Actually, I like the red color. Hmm. Or the green one. Whew. Let's see how lucky I am today. Looking for the perfect toy to give a kid? Check out this Huav. RC Amphibious Off-Road Monster Truck that's available on Amazon $49.99. Looks like you can save it $5 off with the coupon. Look at this. 2.4 gigahertz remote technology. It's all terrain and yes, it even drives on water with the four-wheel drive capability. And this free rollover 360 degrees rotation transmission to get you out of the jams. And it's waterproof. Ooh, and it's fast too. So it doesn't look like you can actually choose the color. So it's just, let's go see how lucky we are today. Go by that. Well, I got the blue one. It's not bad. Once out of the box, make sure you have all of these accessories, a user's guide, two lithium ion battery packs, a two AA battery, Pack, the charge cable, a little, little mini uh, Phillips screwdriver, the RC transmitter, and of course the amphibious vehicle itself. The dimensions of this vehicle are roughly eight and three quarters length by eight and a half inches, almost like a box, and four inches at its greatest height. And it weighs about 1.36 pounds. The material of this vehicle is made out of ABS and also non-toxic PVC plastic. It's got the pro racing stripes on both sides. Here is the on off switch. Here's the front view. There's no light or LED lighting at all. Tires are made of plastic, so not rubber, but it has this like a tank track in the middle. Independent four wheel drive. Here's the side view, the back view, bottom view where you put in the battery pack, and the top view. Might as well hook up the battery pack. Make sure that's charging because it's going to take a while. So I've decided to charge it to the wall, it's a lot faster than via USB. This is purchased separately. And I'm pretty sure that's going to turn a different color when it's fully charged. So it looks like once it's fully charged, it just turns off. That was fast. Let's take a look at the transmitter. You have the on off switch right here. Flip it to the other side. And here's where you enter the battery. All right, this rotator wheel, this motion is to turn left, this motion is to turn right, power LED indicator right here, backward motion, forward motion. You guys won't believe it, but this is actually my first time using one of these trigger type of, or gun type of remote transmitters. I suggest holding it sideways. That way you can remember it left and right. And similarly, like if you pull on a gun, that is to fire. So that's to go forward as opposed to, you know, going, pushing it forward front to make it move forward. So yeah, that's easy to remember for me. I'm going to use the supply mini screwdriver to unscrew this in order to put in the AA batteries and make sure you have the polarity right. It's time to put in the battery pack and I want to show you guys these two water spouts. It's recommended that you drain the water spouts after each use in water. So let's go ahead and remove the cover and insert the battery pack. Make sure you line it up properly. Clicks in place. Let's go ahead and put this in here. And it's a good idea to fold in the wire so it doesn't stick out. 
because we want it to be near waterproof. So let's go ahead and test it out at home first. I'm gonna turn on the car. See how it's blinking red. And then I'm gonna try to turn on the transmitter. And let's go test it out. All right, forward, backward. Hold down the left to rotate fully. Hold it, hold down the right to rotate fully. If you want to forward and left, forward and left. Backwards, right. Wow, there's actually a warning that says do not drop this from more than the height of 30 centimeters. So that's roughly 11.8 inches. And I was gonna test this out dropping it from my uh, staircase. <laughs> Like I mentioned, it's recommended you don't drop it from more than a 11.8 inches, 12 inch drop. What if it's upside down? And of course, that would be the reverse. It flip back. That's awesome. And on hardwood floors. And on tile. Here it is on rocks. Okay guys, so I'm out in the woods right now. And if I didn't mention it before, this has a range of 100 meters or 328 feet. And it's got a play time of about 20 to 30 minutes. Let's go ahead and test it out. Going from grass to mulch. By the way, top speed is 20 kilometers per hour or 12.4 miles per hour. Oh, so here's the reason why, because I have all these grass and weed that's just stocked up on the um, wheel well. I'm going to have to remove this. The one that kept on going in circles. I'm out in the woods right now. This is a nice sandy obstacle course. Let's go ahead and try it out. Oop, they got stuck right there. Back up. That was stuck in a valley. I had to unwind it. And we're good to go. See how that flipped over? Looks like the smoke has finally cleared. I've made it to the beach. Tide is coming in, not much waves. Final test, and it's gonna be on salt water.
Look at that go. See the four wheel drive independent transmission shifting. That is super fun. Wow, guys, that was super fun. Every single terrain it impressed me in its performance and function, especially when it's upside down, it wants to right itself in its correct position. It's not the fastest, but it is, it is fun though. It's definitely a monster truck that can go on any terrain and it's waterproof too. This will make an awesome present for anybody that's interested in remote control vehicles. You know, especially if you combine this with a monster truck with amphibious vehicle, it's like a tank. I'm loving it. Go check it out. The purchase link is in the description. You guys will love this.